Tell your child, these are the fraction circles. Watch. I'm going to trace it. You may trace it. I'm going to feel it. You may feel it. That is a whole circle. Whole, whole. You may trace it. You may feel it. That is a half of a circle. Half, half. When presenting the fraction circles, pick up the piece with a claw-like grasp. Using a wide grasp helps strengthen your child's hand. Holding the piece in your palm prevents it from sliding around on the table as you trace. Invite your child to trace it. When he gives it back, feel the piece in your hands, then offer him a turn to feel. You want him to fully experience the shape and weight of the wood before you name it. Sensorial experiences help your child to gain a deep understanding of new vocabulary. As he feels it, tell him, that is half of a circle. Half, half. Repeat with the other pieces. Place the pieces out in the same arrangement that they fit into the frame. This sets your child up for success. Later, he can mix the pieces and challenge himself. When showing your child how to replace the pieces, trace the piece first to boost his sensorial experience with fractions. Examine the base, align the base with the frame, and tip. This is easier than guiding a piece in from above, especially as your child's puzzles get more complex. Repeat with the next piece, then invite your child to replace the remaining pieces. We begin by presenting the whole, halves, and thirds. When your child is using the puzzle well, reintroduce it with halves, thirds, and quarters. Present this toy to your child at a small table or on the floor. Puzzles have a built-in control of error, making it obvious to your child when he's made a mistake. This allows him to learn independently without correction from an adult. Even with a control of error, your child may not realize how to correct his mistake. This will come with time and a lot of practice. Figuring it out on his own is the most powerful way to learn.